Hello YouTube, RevXCast here today with Final Fantasy 69. Today I will be showing, er, yes, showing you guys on how to install Galactic Craft mod for Minecraft version 1.5.2. So, before we start, just a few notes. Um, you guys will need an archive, archiving program, aka WinRAR or 7-Zip. I'll be using WinRAR. You guys are going to need a Minecraft, a Minecraft account that's not cracked. Uh, or should I say, a uh, real Minecraft account and non a non-cracked Minecraft application. Yes. So, um, let's get started now. The link for this will be in the description. So, if you guys just search up Galacticraft or press the link in the description, you should go to here. So, right here it is. I see Galacticraft, and it's not much here because they actually have their own um, page. So, when you guys get here, it says Mod Home Page, you press it, it'll take you to here. And then, this is their page on all the mods they do. So, from here, you can go to the Galactic Craft mod, you can go to their other mods and stuff. They have quite awesome mods. But, so, I'm not going to go to that, of course, because I'll be doing the Galactic Craft mod installation. So, we're going to press this, and right here it is. You got the download. Discuss your discoveries and how to. And the how to can actually explain a lot of things if you're having trouble in the game. So, let's just press this download button. And say right here download the latest released release 1.5.2. And you'll go to an add focus.us. Please wait five seconds. This is this. This is. The reason we're waiting for five seconds is because we're, we will, or we are supporting the modders. Okay, so once this jar file is downloaded, just leave it there. Open up a new tab and go to Minecraft Forge. And also the link will be in the description for this. So, press here. And let it load up. And then once you guys get onto this page, you go over here, you press on Files. It'll bring up you the files and write well, when it loads. You'll see right here it says rec it says recommended 1.5.2. Press the universal right there and wait 10 seconds. A lot of waiting. Click it to continue. Skip add again. So it loads. And now it should start to download the Minecraft Forge Universal. So now we're going to minimize our internet browser that you guys use. For Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows Vista, press your start button and then the search you type in percent app data percent. It'll bring up the roaming folder, but if you guys are running on Windows XP, you type in run, and it should be this run right here. You press it, and in here you type in percent at data. Percent, and you press OK or enter, and it should bring you to the roaming. Double click on dot Minecraft, double click on bin, and now we're going to click once on the Minecraft jar. It should just be going Minecraft. Right click it and press open with Winner Archiver or your archiving program, aka like when 7 zip. Alright, so now once that we have this open, just let me make it a little bit smaller. And right, put that there. Minimize the roaming folder area. Go back into your internet browser and open Minecraft Forge. Minimize your browser again. Let's make this smaller. Okay, so now on Forge, you're going to press Control A, hold in Control, and press these two dots up at the top. You're going to drag all these files down here where it starts the class files because we want to be safe and make sure we don't put them into any folders. Press OK. Let it load. Now we can exit out of the Forge Universal. And now on the minecraft.jar, right here it says metainf, delete that. And now close the minecraft.jar and run minecraft.
Now we're going to log in. We're going to let FML set itself up. For first users, um, it will take up. We'll take a small amount of time just to load up. And it should go to the Mojang screen. If it does not go to the Mojang screen, it just goes or it goes to it and then turns instantly black. You guys are going to have to go to your roaming folder and delete the dot Minecraft folder entirely, rerun Minecraft, log in, and it should download it and then just install Forge again and it should work. But if it's installed successfully, you should have a mods tab. You should have a Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge. So now we can just exit on Minecraft for now. Now here on our bin, we're going to go back to the roaming area. Double click on that Minecraft, and now we should have some more folders. Now you guys are going to double click on Core Mods. Again on your internet browser. Now just drag the Galacticraft 1.5.2 jar file into Core Mods. Exit out of the folder. Now we can run Minecraft again. Log in. Uh, you guys should notice that um, Minecraft Forge is a lot faster. Okay, so now if this message comes up, don't worry. Just press load basic components. So now we're now you will have to restart your Minecraft. So let's do this again. Run Minecraft once more. Log in. Open it up larger. Go to your mods, and now you should have Galactic Craft Core. Press done. Go into a single player world. I'm gonna make it creative. Press create new world. Any slower now. Alright, and now that we are in, uh, I hate spawning in jungle biomes. But once we're in, if you guys aren't creative, you should press your inventory button. And you should have a new tab right here. And you guys should have the Galactic Craft folder and Galactic Craft Moon. And that is how you guys know that you've successfully installed Galactic Craft. So, this is how to install Galactic Craft in Minecraft 1.5.2. Like, comment, and subscribe. And just thank you guys for watching. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe, and just have a nice day. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, goodbye, YouTube.